Though you've played in love with lost and sorrows turn your heart to frost, I will melt your heart again. Remember the feeling as a child, you woke up in morning smiled, it's time you felt like you did then. There's just no percentage in remembering the past, it's time you learn to live again at last. behind and take a giant step outside your mind you stare at me in disbelief you say for you there's no relief but I swear I'll prove you wrong don't stay in your lonely room just staring back in silent gloom that's not where you belong Okay, that was Take a Giant Step from the Monkees' first album in 1966. One of probably hundreds of songs that Carole King and Jerry Goffin wrote that were successful for other artists. So, <clears throat> now that I've played through the song for you, we're just going to go back now, take a look at the chords that are involved in this song, and then also talk about the strum pattern that is used for the song. All right, let's start with the chords. <clears throat> The first chord that appears is A. Pretty familiar chord. Two, one, zero, zero. And then an A seventh appears in this song. And the, the form I use for A seventh, I know some people use this form for, but in this song it works better to hang on to the A chord and use either your third finger or your pinky on the third fret of the second string. And you'll see in a minute why I use that form rather than this one. The next chord that appears in this song is F sharp minor. And here we're talking two, one, two, zero. Right, that, that A seventh I just showed you was two one three zero. This is two one two zero. The next chord that appears in this song is D. Two 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 zero. Should be familiar to you. And the last chord that appears is G, zero, two, three, two. So that's all the chords that are in this song. Now, <clears throat> let, me show you, let me show you the intro. Before we talk about the strum pattern in the main part of the song, let me show you that intro and you'll see why I chose the A seventh fingering that I did. The intro goes, See that? So it starts with the A, go 
goes to that A7 that I talked about. And then they get from the A7 to the F sharp minor. All you're doing is removing that finger and putting that one. So here it is slowly. So these two fingers stay right there throughout the whole intro. So that's how the intro goes. Now, in terms of the strum pattern throughout the main part of the song, let me play the first uh, few lines here and, I'll, and then I'll show you the strum pattern that I, that I see in this one. What I'm hearing here is a one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Though you play it love and lost. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now how I'm doing it in terms of my right hand, in terms of the strumming, I'm doing... does not mean it's the only way to do that. You find the one that's comfortable for you to get that one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. So that strum pattern takes place throughout the verses. And the one place where the, the strum pattern, if you will, changes is that, that line, come with me, leave yesterday behind and take a giant step outside your mind. There, it's just single strums. Come with me, leave yesterday behind. Just going back and forth between the A and the D. Come with me, leave yesterday behind. And take a giant step outside your mind. So that's the one that's the one part of the song that deviates from the one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four that takes place throughout the other parts of the song. Um, there is a brief interlude where the um, where the, you hear and that's all on the first string. Let me show you. It's open, open first string. That's all there is to that. Um, one other thing, uh, one other little um, wrinkle I threw in, there's um, in the recorded version of the song, at the end of um, a lot of the lines, there's a little, actually, I think on the I'm recording, it's an exi xylophone and it goes. And I threw that at the end. Let me, let me show you where I put it in. And you can either use it or not use it as you want. But here's what I did. Though you've played in love and lost, sorrows turn your heart to frost. I will melt your heart again. See that? So it's all built off that A chord. It's a... Put my ring finger on that second fret and then the pinky on the fourth. That's just to duplicate that little xylophone riff at the end of the line. So you can either use that or not use it as you, as you see fit. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, that's pretty much it for this song. Um, I hope you enjoy playing it. <laughs>